Hi, I'm Kelly McMillan. We're here at the El Saws Ranch in Southeast Texas. I'm sitting with uh, Skip Knowles, who was one of the invitees of this um, McMillan Knife uh, blowout. Um, Skip is the one of the editors for uh, Peterson's. Um, why don't you tell me about your experience? Well, I came a little late to the party, showed up uh, uh, late, at, late in the evening, and I think the first time I saw the McMillan rifle was about 5 a.m. <laughs> he handed it to me and said, you have to trust that this thing is accurate. And furthermore, these are one of the toughest big game animals in North America, and they have a huge dead space between their vitals and their, and their backbone. So aim low, trust the accuracy, aim very, very low on the animal. Go as low as you feel comfortable, then go a little lower. I didn't worry about it because I heard most of the shots were at real close range. Um, by 7.50 a.m., we spooked a couple, circled around a, a great big water hole, did a, about a 10-minute stalk, and had a crack at a fully alert bull at 200 yards and had to hold low, lower, <laughs> lowest, and squeeze off with a 300 wind mag with that, uh, was it, 180 triple shot Barnes bullet. And, and it did exactly what it was the billing said it would do. Yeah, you punched through both shoulders, went straight through the heart, and you just as you said, as tough as they are, he still went almost 150 yards. So that was my introduction to the McMillan rifle, and I'd fired it one time at that point. <laughs> <laughs> was this your first nail guy? Absolutely, yeah. First one I'd ever seen, actually, was, was that morning earlier. They're an interesting animal, aren't they? I hadn't been too intrigued with them, honestly, prior to that. And as, as I've gotten to know and understand and appreciate them and how cool-looking and tough-looking they are, I really, really enjoyed it. And I think you were using the Dynasty model. Uh, you liked the way the gun felt uh, handled. Uh, everything was uh, good with that. Yes, I'm a big giant uh, recoil sissy, and that's well known in, in my circle of friends. So um, you said I, we, there's a lot of lip service paid to how much uh, stock styling can reduce recoil, and, and most of the time you can't really notice it most production rifles, and, and this one you really could. It was, a, it was amazing. You had me out shooting the 404. I shot it three times, three hand, three times over a bag, and it kicked about like a heavy 12 gauge load. Well, good. I'm, I was really happy to get to meet you and uh, spend time with you. It's been fun. I appreciate you uh, uh, being here with us and uh, look forward to seeing you again. Thanks for having us, Kelly.